can creativity do for your life as a highly sensitive person? Well, come with me on this short journey where I explain what it has done in my life. The past two years have been a bit of a whirlwind. You see, I had a baby, my second one, and then the global pandemic happened. The last two years have been a little insane. But when I look up at the night sky, I know there's a deeper meaning for life. I know that there are moments like reading a book with my son in the middle of lunch, or maybe when I drink a hot tea. Well, not always hot because it gets cold. It's in those moments, like when I'm trying to do yoga and our brand new dog decides to start kissing my face in the middle of the video. And I'm so grateful because I really miss those doggy kisses. You see, our dog of 12 years passed away last year, and it's taken a while to get used to this one. But life just keeps going, and I am always reminded of this every single day when we go out in nature, when we look at the different colors around us, it all fuels our creativity, our ability to just see the world around us, make sense of it, and do something with it. My two-year-old decides that he wants to use all the colors and he's finally getting them on paper instead of his mouth or face or cheeks. But sometimes something really interesting happens. There's something more in him that says, I want more. I want this to be different. And so he asks for it. It almost reminds me like when a storm rolls in, the Arizona skies get flooded with these dark clouds. The birds hang on to the leaves because it's so windy and then the rain comes and it is so beautiful. Our lives are filled with these moments where we can see our children laugh and play with the background of a beautiful sunset and a husband who loves to join in. You see, those are the moments I think about when I'm painting or creating or writing because it helps me make sense of my life. It helps me feel like I am part of something bigger. Being creative is so much more than just putting paint on a piece of paper. It is about the way we see the world, the way we take it in, and what we do with all of that information. And as a highly sensitive person, that can be your superpower. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. And I will see you next time.